Hello, welcome to my uh, the tenant uh, channel. This is LP. I'm going to help you with uh, capturing between two server to uh, to computer. Yeah. So one is in Linux and another one is in uh, remote browser. So so you can use any other browser rather than on itself. So remember, I capture on the remote. So for this lab, I have the IP address of the Linux there is the IP address there and then I'm going to install Linux and uh, Wireshark on that and for the browser, I have the IP address there from remote and uh, for the whole session, you need to have uh, Wireshark on here okay, so first I'm going, to I'm going to work it out and finally for the test the appearance, I'm going to run HTTP and another one HTTPS on the same file or a different file, see what the difference Okay, to start with that, so first you're going to find out whether you have a, a Wireshark in here. So, um, first find out that first you're going to find out Wireshark install or not, and you check the HTTP server run on Linux, and then we're going to check on the uh, two Linux whether they talk together. So, first I'm in Linux now, going to um, a terminal, and then just set it to default and check the um, Wireshark install Wireshark yeah, I'm sorry this Wireshark so now it looks like Wireshark have not installed and if they install already you should go and click on application internet the Wireshark right below here okay the Wireshark right below here. so it's not installed you got to install them so I have that one Remember, this is 64, right? You got to find out that what is your system. You got to install it right. If 64, uh, if you have 64, then you got to install that. That's 64. I have 32. And the second packet you need to install here is the genome, which is the graphics interface. Okay, that's a text interface, command line interface, and genome means graphics. Without this packet, you not able to see, not able to see the. Um, the graphics interface here okay let me run you take it would not take you know too long on this okay very much finish so after they install um, after they install I'm going to check the web server and make me sure that two of them talk together right so they done now. So if you go into internet, there we go. The Wireshark is right there. So first, I got my um, get back here. So from now, so I mean, uh, I'm going to window. Yeah, I'm going to window. I pin my Linux whether they talking or not. So this is my window. I'm going to pin the Linux. Okay, beautiful. So I can see Linux now. So next one is. I'm going to check whether the web server is run on Linux. So, service HTTPD uh, status. Or you can do this command if you're familiar with TTC is HTTP and status. Either way. Or Nmap. You can check another way if you want to. Law host. Okay your my web server is running so that's done my second step is done there okay next I'm gonna make a simple file text file into and save into this web root folder belong to um, belong to my uh, that's the center of web root folder right so now I'm going to where I am now I'm in root so I'm cd to uh, to web root folder Okay, so now I'm, in, I'm inside that. So I'm going to make a file nano uh, um, example pass.txt example, right? I put in here is nothing, uh, nothing to see here. Okay, so I save them. So I have a file there. Add the file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run my Wireshark. Okay, run my Wireshark here. 
and then going to do a capture you need to click option or control k and select the interface because in, in this are uh, run from virtual machine so it's have a fair bit of uh, it's have a fair bit of uh, interface so i run from my whatever the interface i have click start okay and let it start i'm going to my window machine i'm going to click on the browser i have the browser there and i click the to make the file pass uh, .txt okay you see that uh, my uh -oh. my you, basically you can see the symbol file there okay I remove that so that's my tiny whatever my for some reason my Linux in my window I just really small files so that what you see there now I'm going to my Linux I stop the capture stop the capture then I'm click on protocol and look for HTTP or you can search them if you want to HTTP it's come many of them okay I have HTTP here see that there we go right there HTTP get past there and you can click on the get password you see what I get phone string direction and the right direction file there see that that's the file but underneath here i don't think you can see anything here i don't see you see anything so have a look at the next one there we go 200 and click on the content here this is the lowest uh below here the content i also see nothing okay and the light click on the light see on the light here we go nothing to see okay so the same thing that we what we have in uh, the file so that's how to capture over the internet okay for the next steps of the um, for the next step of capturing I'm going to capture the same file a different file right and make a new file uh, pass onetxt yeah? and uh, can you see me okay so i put in the i make the new file in the web root folder right that's in web root folder and the new file name and i put something there and then i save that and then get out of there so in here i got web root folder i have two file right i have i haven't run that file yet so the same thing i'm going to the web browser but instead instead of instead of that i'm going to run https plus Pass one dot txt. Remember, I have not entered. If you enter here, you got bit mistake. It means you got to, you, you won't capture anything, right? So I leave it. They have not entered. To do that, before I capture, before I hit enter, I need to run the capture first because I don't want to have so many packets running. So first, I run the packet first before I enter in my remote server to make my life a little bit easier when the packet is so many packet there. So I start the same interface, run them again, and then go to my window, hit enter from there. Okay, now I hit enter. Okay, now I hit enter. Can you see me? It's me now. Now I go through the certificate, whatever there, right? It's, even though it's not work, it's not a, a, a valid certificate. But now I go back to my browser. So I stop them. Now see what the packet they have. So that's my that's my window that's my uh, what is that source is my window that's this Linux and then from Linux return back asking for that yes look all right acknowledge and I don't think you see anything from here that talking about all the way see the whole conversation TCP don't see anything related to the text the past one at all so basically that's it you see nothing else you can go through them but no packet is is it able to see plain text as before okay best of luck so basically i have done my um, example for capturing um, between https and the and the file there so i have done that as well so basically in here when you do https you capture from here with the https you can't see and you cannot see anything all right but we had TTP so you can view almost everything on the web
So that's how important between encrypt and without encrypted. Best of luck, people. Bye for now.